her older brother, Ryan, was coming to pick us up to take us home. So she went out to talk to him prior to him arriving. She said something to me along the lines of Ryan's coming to get us. Um, which Jen McCabe. So it's a bit of a hy- hysterical scene. There's nothing evil here. Robert's number. Said. When was this that um, you had this conversation with Julie about her brother coming to you? Around 1230, give or take. And which lane to the left or the right were the Albert cars? Or maybe they were in both. I believe both, both closest to the garage. Okay, so they were pulled up closest to the entrance of the garage. Correct. And where was the McCabe's car behind? Which which car? If you're looking at the house, the lane to the left, I believe. Okay. Now, when you first walked out of the Albert home, you'd agree with me that the front lawn was right in front of you, correct? Yes. There were no obstructions blocking your view of that front lawn? No. And there were lights on uh, next to the Albert home front lawn, correct? Correct. And there was also a lamppost where the front walkway is, correct? Correct. Um, And between the two garage doors, there's also a spotlight, is there not? Correct. And you would testify that snow had started to accumulate, right? Correct. And against that white snow, did you see a black baseball cap? No. Did you see a black sneaker? No. Did you see a six foot two, 220 pound man sprawled out right in front of you on that lawn? No. Did you see 45, 45 pieces of red plastic? So I traveled that route on purpose, and uh, as evidence revealed itself due to the natural melting of the snow, or presented itself. No. One piece of red plastic? No. So you saw nothing unusual on that front lawn as you walked out of that house, correct? That's correct. As Jennifer McCabe, Matthew McCabe, and Julie Nagel were walking toward the, the McCabe car, none of them pointed to the front lawn to direct your attention to anything. Correct? That's correct. What, if anything, did you observe? Um, I did notice um, behind Sarah and Jen, um, I did notice a, like a something out of the ordinary, uh, like a black blob um, in the grounds by the flagpole. If you know about where in relation to the flagpole was this black object that you saw. In fact, You had testified that Matt McCabe forgot something and had to go back in the house, correct? Correct. Which means he actually came out of the house twice that night, correct? Correct. Cars, or maybe they were in both. I believe both, Both. closest to the garage. Okay, so they were pulled up closest to the entrance of the garage. Correct. And where was the McCabe's car? behind which which car if you're looking at the house the lane to the left i believe okay now when you first walked out of the albert home you'd agree with me that the front lawn was right in front of you correct yes no obstructions blocking your view of that front lawn no and there were lights on uh, next to the albert home front lawn correct correct And there was also a lamppost where the front walkway is, correct? Correct. Um, And between the two garage doors, there's also a spotlight, is there not? Correct. And you would testify that snow had started to accumulate, right? Correct. And against that white snow, so you saw nothing unusual on that front lawn as you walked out of that house, correct? That's correct. 